this hello guys today finally we are going to start my thesis it was a long time I didn't touch it because I was busy with other projects with other projects and um, also I didn't know what I want to do like I had a model in mind I talked about it with Monzer for a couple of times and now we took a long time I didn't touch it because I didn't believe in it um, now I have better better ideas about the same model we changed it a bit I was okay like my last projects were all like theoretical and I didn't want to another theoretical project I uh, I was not ha sure to start another project I okay I had a model I could start it but I didn't want to because I had the feeling that it will be another similar project. So, yeah, that was it. I was uh, I was not happy to start it. Now, last time, Munzer and I had a talk. I said, like, you can study your model experimentally. And it was really encouraging for me to study this model I like the model I didn't just I didn't like to start it in a uh, theory like very mathematical framework but I wanted to like as I was talk on my channel I wanted to engage in more coding more um, experimental studies and now I have like better feeling about this model oh ooh, ooh. that's it so Okay. Let me share with you. Do, 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 do. Okay, let me tell you what is this project about, which will be my thesis. Um, well, I was in the like this field of data, data markets, value of data, social platforms, using data for advertisement and targeting audience, uh, audiences uh, or audience. I don't know. So I was in this. <laughs> I was in this world, and. Um, I always use like a lot of like YouTube, Instagram, and like Amazon. And I always this was the question for me that like, for example, when you go on Amazon, okay, it was the subject of uh, our other works too. Like how Amazon ranks different firms, like, yeah. The listing and the ra your rank on the listing. If you if I look for protein chain, right? If you are on the top of the list, the odds of you as a company or like a firm uh, being able to sell your product will be higher. So everybody tries to go on the top of the list, on the top of the food chain, and. Um, 
What is on the top of the list, by the way? I'm not gonna. Also, Amazon tries to tailor it to your personal taste, uh, or like when I search protein powder, first one is a is one that is a sponsor. It's this uh, vegan protein, organic protein, right? This this one is on the top of the list, so people pay to be seen, to be, to go on the top of the list. And then it is ON, uh, which has like a good rating, 4.7. Like, wow, my God, how many times are they? Even this vegan protein has a good rating, 4.4. But the still he's buying a sponsorship. Uh, then Amazon has another sticker, overall pick, uh, popular brand pick. So all of these give the buyer or consumer like a good feeling that, okay, yeah, it is like the rating. Right. Also, ratings matter. So, uh, like it, it's, it's a feeling of like a, you're more like Amazon assures you that okay, it's a good product. You are not bu going to buy bullshit. Like if you look at the ratings, there are like thousands of people bought this item, and they left good rating and good feedback. It, it means that, okay, it gives the buyer that, okay, this is a good product, I can buy it. Uh, it's a, like a proof that it's a good product, right? So, Amazon naturally put this kind of products on the top of the list. If you are a good, you have, as a product, you have good rating, Amazon naturally should put you on the top of the list uh, because it makes sense but sometimes if you pay Amazon and you buy the sponsorship you can be on the top of the list too you will be next so you the odds of you being seen by the um, by the consumers are higher right uh, so you artificially put yourself on the top of the list and you pay for it, right? And then there are lower parts of the list. They also have good, like ISO pure protein powder, right? They have good ratings, uh, but look how many people go all the way down. Or, okay, this one was uh, one example. The other example was uh, Instagram, right? You're going on your story bar, you're looking at the stories, and uh, in among them, Instagram puts some advertisements. And these advertisements you are usually highly uh, personalized to your taste. Even Instagram checks what you say during the day, and the advertisement sometimes is right. Just you have a conversation with a friend, you mention something, you go on your Insta, you see it, or Insta gives this uh, recommendation based on your friend's activity on the network. Uh, what else? And people pay, like the, the people who want to sell the service pay Insta to be seen, right? Uh, on YouTube, or also on Insta, another thing that is related to the list is just the number of views you get. Um, because if you create a good content, right? Uh, 
this will like uh, okay some people watch it and it gets reviews maybe people comment on it uh, like it these are all feedbacks to to insta or youtube that this is a good video so youtube or insta tries to show it to other people too right and it will be a positive feedback that more people will watch it and again more people will watch it suggest it to more people and goes and goes and goes and goes right um, and all these videos all these reels are in competition to be shown more right so yes to be shown more to go on the top of the list right like there is this competition um, for getting views right because getting views has a direct relation like a the more view you get you probably as a youtuber or influencer you will get more money uh, everybody's looking for more views so first of all subscribe like so I will tell you the secret for getting more more views something like that um, and all of these videos are in competition also for example if you are a youtuber or you have a channel some of your videos get videos <laughs> some of your videos um, get likes get a lot of views I have this feeling that YouTube or Insta says okay uh, this channel has a good reputation we should show his videos more because consumers already show that they are interested in the content that's it yeah I think I said what I wanted to say um, now I said okay let's try to model this situation study it and see how they work okay why am I interested more in these and I'm changing to I'm shifting to this uh, project instead of those like sale of data through auction is that first of all these are the problems that like we know this okay these companies or like social platforms are dealing with right actually I don't know if it is solved for them already or no because they are doing it right what is what will be the uh, the result of my work will I come up with a better solution for them that yo you should uh, use this algorithm for recommending videos instead of or will I like uh, study it and say yes like youtubers should okay okay one other thing I had in mind is that the amount of views you get may like on on a good level should depend on the content of your video right if it is a good content people see it recommend it more and naturally because it's a good content uh, other people want uh, it goes wider right but also but also um, you want to say that okay maybe how I put my content on the social platform matters uh, for example do, I don't even know if you have like a boost like what Amazon does in a sponsorship on Insta or YouTube I say we have why not they say give me money yeah we actually have in the like in the advertisement right 
there's so many companies want to sell. And Amazon may say, okay, you give me more money, I show you to more people. So it is kind of a boost or a sponsorship. Um, I'll show you to more people. Okay, the other thing was that, uh, yeah, how can buying these sponsorships, like your content is the same, like it has a quality, right? But for example, you're on Amazon, you have a protein powder, it's a, it has a quality, I don't know, not very uh, the best, or like something in the middle, right? And it is a good product, people buy it, if they see it, like if like 60% of the people who see it will buy it, right? So for you to sell more, it matters how many people will see it on Amazon. And for that reason, like, yes, maybe you wanna wait and say, okay, I have a product, I will wait people to buy it on Amazon. But at the beginning, maybe, yeah, okay, it is that, okay. It is something about that. Uh, recommendation systems, I think recommendation systems have a reputation measure or something, right? So, and it was in the other paper I read, right? Uh, they wanna get, for example, let's assume Google or Insta or Amazon, what they care is putting the most valuable option on the top of the list. If it is their natural behavior, otherwise you should pay. All right, so if you start at the beginning and you say, okay, I have this good brand and I will wait so that people buy it and leave rating, at the beginning you may get no view or yeah, nobody buys your product and you will stay down. But if at the beginning you buy some sponsorship so that you are at the top of the list, then you are seen by a lot of people, then a lot of people buy it, for example, thousand people buy it, then they leave like 500 reviews for you. And now Amazon says, okay, this guy um, has a good product. Um, so it's not just about the quality of your product. Yeah, okay, this is a good this is a good question in this project. It's not just about the quality of your product. But also it is about how many people see you because you always have this like because of your quality you have a chance to be bought. Every people who see you like by probability of 60% they may buy you. Alright. So once you are seen by a lot of people uh, they leave you good reviews, they will be at the top of the top of the list, then more people naturally see you and your product has good ratings, a lot of reviews. This naturally helps your um, product to be sold. So your strategy matters. For example, at the beginning, if you're, like we have ON or we have, what is the other one? Muscle milk, that sucks, right? For example, muscle milk and ON are on the top of the list and you just started your protein powder company, all right? And 
for example, you don't have like, uh, yeah, you need to advertise it. You need to let other people know that you exist. One of the ways is that telling Google, uh, Amazon that, okay, I will pay you some amount at the beginning on the top of, so that you put me on the top of your list. Then people buy me because I'm on the top of the list, the odds are higher, or, I, or also I may at the beginning, the other strategy you can use in it is that at the beginning you give a good discount or yeah I think that is also happens not on Amazon or like, uh, like at, at the beginning of every company they give free samples right so that people know what's up right the, the, you are leaving free samples or a good price so that other people buy at the beginning you are like you're paying from your budget, something like that. You're using your budget, from paying from your pocket, right? You're paying from your bucket, bucket, pocket. You're paying from your pocket so that other people can see you and once they get to know you, they will, okay, that's a good product, I will buy. So, okay, one of the goal of this um, model like one of the results of this model may be what is a good strategy to start once we have competitors who are already in the market like should I buy a sponsorship should I bring my price lower um, I don't know how it transforms to the YouTube channel example or Instagram right um, because uh, because on YouTube we don't have any price, right? So your strategy is if there is a sponsorship is just buying a sponsorship. I'm not sure about the sponsorship. Like I am putting these contents on uh, YouTube. Nobody told me you can't buy a sponsorship to be shown more uh, however without any effort we are getting millions of views every day so yeah once your quality is good like this channel you naturally get uh, views but if you are fucked up you, you have to pay from your pocket, pay from your bucket, and pay from your budget. That's it. Yeah, so on YouTube, okay, it is better model for Amazon, I feel. It's a model for Amazon, I say. Yeah, the idea of list and like recommender system come from YouTube, Amazon, everything, right? But now I think the model is more focused on Amazon or shopping lists. You have actually in the model, I am leaving two forms of action for the players one is the price and the other one is just buying sponsorship and then their quality will be realized um, one other thing is that we don't know if their product has a good quality or not right um, even they don't know what is their quality and again, we can speak about quality. Some of the ideas I have in mind now is that even like some people may say, I like ON, like they are ON fans. Some people are muscle milk fan. Those people, we pray for them. I used to be like that. They just don't know that ON exists or like muscle milk is just a cement. We are 
Uh, good luck with that. So sometimes people don't know that the product exists. If they know it's just uh, like a reinforcement learning problem, they need to know that it exists and try it, and then they start using it more and exploit it, right? Sometimes you need to give the people the chance to explore you, your product, and then they will exploit your product. Um, so that's it. Yeah. Right? That's a good uh, thing, actually. Right? In, I, I haven't studied reinforcement learning, but I feel we had this exploration, exploitation. Yeah, we had this. Also, I had a paper, right? Um, we have this exploitation and exploration phase. But in exploration phase, you try different. But okay, we will keep exploration forever, I guess. But at, at the beginning, the focus is more on the exploration. And once you find your taste as a consumer, you keep exploiting that taste more, and once in a while you try other products, but your major focus will be on one. Now we are thinking what a firm should do, because firms are, if a consumer is in the exploring mode, firms want to be shown to them. If a firm, if a consumer is in exploiting mode, the odds of him buying a new product, okay. He, the odds of him buying the products he already bought is low, and he didn't like is low. But if you are a new product in the market, he likes to try you, right? Um, so because he once in a while tries new things, you can be in his exploration. But if you are a new product in general, uh, you want to be explored at the beginning by other people, right? Because uh, nobody discovered you yet. So you want to target people who are ex in their exploration mode. Something like that. Anyway, these were just, okay, yeah, I, okay, one other thing I want to mention about this is that, okay, one other thing I want to mention about this is that, okay, already these problems are kind of solved, right? We know that Amazon has a ranking system, companies buy a sponsorship, they leave discounts, or uh, YouTube or Instagram already personalize the content to your taste. They show you, Amazon may also personalize I don't know if they do. Well, they consider your history of purchase for sure. Um, and for example, once you go on the first page of Amazon, once you are not looking for anything, they show a lot of products, right? That page, I believe, is highly personalized. So they, this factory already know what they're doing. Also, the companies are using the strategies and they already know. What What is new that our product is trying to say? Like my product, I said so many more times product. What is new that our model tries to solve? What is the question? Yeah, we can come up with a model and solve it, but I don't know even if we solve it. Okay, that was one of the other reasons I was not sure to start this project. 
Is it ambivalent? Is the word ambivalent? I guess I was not sure. Ambivalent. Undetermined, unsettled, those undetermined. No, not that. Anyway, I was not sure to start it. Is that like, okay, even if we solve it, who is this? model helping like they already are doing their stuff and actually we don't know what exactly like Amazon ranking system is because it's very difficult okay by the way by the way it is very difficult um, to simplify the Amazon ranking algorithm in a sim so we have to simplify we have to ignore some aspects of it this is no doubt I don't know okay I say it's better to start now we put too much time to thinking and stuff this is a question we are interested in we will start a model, we will solve it or say something about it and some people come and say I hope they are people who are legit like they are in Amazon, they have connections with them and they say yo, you we read your paper or your result we presented in a conference and they say yo this is not good and I didn't like this part or this was amazing I love the way you think I love the way you write papers and this is just drive me more so I don't know yeah that's really not good we don't have a like even in here it's MIT but maybe I didn't reach out enough, but... And on some part, it is just these companies, they don't want to share their information, right? Uh, to just the public, which makes sense. I wouldn't do that. Some part of their algorithms should be like private, for sure. It is not good that my research is based on like my um, experience with Amazon it would be better if there was somebody from Amazon or Amazon had a fellowship or uh, had a question to share with MIT yeah they, they themselves have a lot of like scientists computer scientists data scientists they have so many scientists they can solve these kind of questions for sure for them but it would be nice if they share some of their questions with us too um, yes I think that well Amazon I know Amazon Google all of them have uh, like an academic department right what is it Amazon research that is Microsoft research and those parts are like more in connected with academia Amazon research Amazon science homepage customer obsessed science
Academia, Alexa Prize, Academics at Amazon, Amazon Research Award, Research Collaborations. So, okay. Research Amazon partners with particular academic organizations across the world for deep and sustained collaboration in multiple research and mutual interest. Okay, so they are in connection with Columbia University, Hampton, How Howard University, Max Planck, John Hopkins, oh, MIT. All right, okay. See? Amazon and MIT Science Hub. Let's check this shit. What did I search? Amazon. Amazon Research. Okay, they have something with MIT. Let's go learn more. An official website. Do 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 do. Well, they put a photo of MIT, Amazon, and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology announced the establishment of the Science Hub, a collaboration that will. When did that happen? By the way, I don't know. Who wants to read that shit? Every time I should mention that, put a video. Seven science subs collaborative modes and the areas of mutual interest, beginning with artificial intelligence, robotics, that will provide funding. Oh, funding to support research and academic flush. I think actually universities engineering schools should be bought by Amazon, Google, Facebook. It's just stupid to work because we should work for them. <laughs> that doesn't sound good to me. But really, like most of these data science projects, all of these people want to go to these companies. The projects we have should make sense, especially the theoretical ones that are like longer term. Cannot make out of our balls. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see what is in Amazon's head. Oh, Amazon MIT Schwa Schwa. Schwarzer, Schwarzman, College of Computing, and Amazon Science Hub. Okay, I will keep it on my Amazon research, Amazon research, Amazon science, do 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 from the belag, from the belag, bum 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 Who are these people? They all have mustache do 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 Where are this? Where is MIT? MIT MIT where are you? Do 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 research collaboration shen MIT MIT I am from MIT I am from MIT <laughs> Alright ready Dog. Dude, what up, those Big Snoop D O W G? 
and I'm an English voice from the United States. All right. We are all for money. They don't pay us. They ain't. What up, dog? I ain't have money. I'm a broke PhD student. PhD for PDF, screen reader, free ADHD tool, free book reader. Dude, I want to sign in, log in. I want to try it for free. What is the web app? Oh, okay. There we, there we, there we. Now I wanted to have a new one. Um, how can I give it? Um, it has wait. It has local document web link. All right. Wait what? Oh, it has extension. Try now. Add to Chrome. Add it to my Chrome. Add extension. Extend the addition. Use specify in your browsers. So where is it? Is it specify? Do, 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 do extensions manage Spotify pin that dog all right let's go let's go Spotify okay Amazon I read this page for me Sign up? What is sign up? Log in. What is my specify shit? I was doing my research, but you didn't let me do 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 specify you are to help me do Take a photo just from the library. Cancel. Profile. One hour listening to your status. Oh, it gives you status too. What can this page for do? I can import some science document. Please help. I ask for help. Never. I never ask for help. Only weak people ask for help. Share speech, help us grow. Quest feature. Hmm, the quest feature, that's a nice thing. Okay, I think I uh, joined it with my Google. platforms wow that's a good stuff and they make video oh wait what motherfuckers this is the best app if I had the money I would buy it but I am paying for Netflix so no Yep, I know. Speechify, why don't you support my PhD? Speechify, Speechify, Speechify. All right. Um, why do you hound us? 
I don't know my password. Asshole. I don't have it. I don't have my password. I do have an account. <gasps> Oh, okay, it's PC5 for iPhone and iPad, alright. Actually, I should add it for Android too. Yeah, motherfucker, add it. I thought it's just for iPhone and iPad. Which Samsung? SMG99. Okay, I will install it whenever. Uh, profile? No, uh, what, what do I have on my apps? Uh, upgrade? Not upgrade, I don't have money. <laughs> no upgrade. <laughs> Account. Fuck it, we are inside, what are you talking about? Read it for me. Home, 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 go home. Yeah, okay, that's it. Read, yeah. Bridging industry and academia, the Science Hub helps create and support innovative research in the fields of AI, robotics, computing, and engineering. Call for applications now open. Call for applications for gift supported research. This motherfucker. Research projects is open. All MIT re on on my phone. What is this? Oh. On my phone, I only can choose one voice here because twelve dollar per month. That's too much for me. Um, but seriously, it's better even on your Chrome. Take a screenshot, save to library. Yeah, that's better. But, okay. There's no point in getting an iPhone. Okay, this one, last night I was reading. I cannot change, it's always Samantha. All other people are locked. Yeah. By the way, Samantha sounds so unreal. They let you choose um, between like different accents, like uh, British, Australian, American. But there's just only one Samantha. Here we have multiple choices. What's her name? Jamie, which is, uh, wait, just. Henry, we have Erica, we have Snoop Dogg. Wait, Snoop Dogg? What up, though? It's Big Snoop D O Double G, and I'm an English voice from the United States. All right, read it for me. Searches with principal investigator status can apply. We welcome applications from diverse candidates, including those historically underrepresented in the engineering, computing, and mathematics fields. We encourage proposals related to robotics, AI, here. natural language. Call for applications now open. Call for applications for gift-supported research projects is open. 
All MIT researchers with principal investigator status can apply. We welcome applications from diverse candidates oh, and- Oh, wait. All MIT researchers with principal investigator status can apply. So, MIT students, no. <laughs> you are not very welcome here. So, we welcome applicants from diverse candidates, including those historical. Dude, I say we should apply. I don't give a fuck. Who is underrepresented? Like, no PI is underrepresented. What is he talking about? Uh, <laughs> Why can't I have Snoop Dogg on my phone? Let's see how Jamie. Good day to you. My name is Jamie. I am happy to those historically in underrepresented goals. in the engineering, computing, and mathematics fields. We encourage proposals related to robotics, AI, natural language processing, video understanding, automated reasoning, and more. So what is this? Proposal of robotics, AI, natural language, NLP, video understanding, automated reasoning, and more. Well, I'm not in any of them, but I am in more for sure. Hi, my name is David. David, go I ahead. am an English voice from the United States. All right. Go ahead, bitch. Science Hub Research Showcase, November 7th, 2023. The MIT Amazon Science Hub was launched in October. The cool thing they have is that uh, you can make your own voice read or you can also, like my friend was saying, like if, like a Snoop Dogg, right? If you have a favorite, um, singer, musician, whoever, you can, they can add their voice, right? And then they read. What's up? I'm John here to help you get more done in less time. John has not enough energy, to be honest. But I feel John is good. Henry. Greetings, I'm Henry, here to help you make the most of your day, one chapter wow. at a time. Cliff. Hi, my name is Cliff Weitzman. I'm the founder of Speechify. I made Speechify to help me with my dyslexia and ADHD. Now, our AI helps millions of people. I hope it can help you too. What's up? I'm John here to help you get more done in less time. So Cliff was... Uh... Cliff Weitzman is the founder. He has a good voice. Hi, my name is Cliff Weitzman. I'm the founder of Speech of Good day to you. James. Hi, my name is David. I am an English voice from the United States. Wow. Welcome to Speechify. Speechify can read to you in the highest quality digital voices available the anywhere. Used to work in the elevators, right? First floor. Okay, who else? And they have all. Tasha, who's Tasha? Hi, my name is Tasha. I am an English voice from the United States. That's it? More. Hi, my name is Ruben. I am an English voice from the United Kingdom. All right. I will go Greetings, ahead. I'm Henry, here to help you make the most of your day, one yeah, chapter at a time. Make the most out of my day. Let's go, bitch. Go ahead, read it for me. October 2021, and we are looking to continue strengthening this collaboration and creating a space to exchange research ideas and interests. The focus of this event will highlight the gift research, sponsored research and fellowships that Amazon is funding at MIT. Edward Adelson, John and Dorothy Wilson Professor, Department of Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Edward Adelson is interested in human and computer vision, computer graphics and artificial touch sensing for robotics, Amazon Postdoctoral Science Program. Amazon launched the Amazon Postdoctoral Science, APSL, program for upcoming and recent graduates in the fields of machine learning, 
robotics, computer science, artificial intelligence, and economics. All right, let's go to the other one. Let's see what's up here. Code and data set, news and features. Oh, Amazon Science. What was that? Science Hub homepage, which is something between MIT College of Computing and Amazon. We will apply right now. Science Hub Research Opportunities Call for Applications MIT and Amazon launched the Science Hub in October 2021 to advance the fields of artificial intelligence and robotics in a collaborative and inclusive environment. Hosted by the MIT Schwarzman College of Computing, the Science Hub seeks proposals for innovative projects aimed at developing AI tools and technologies that will have a positive impact on society. Call for sponsored project applications, Prime Video. Current funding key dates. Submission deadline, January 8th, 2024 by 500 PM ET. Notification of awards, January 2024. Start a pro. January 8th was the deadline. And we didn't know it Object. After February 1st, 2024. Eligibility. All MIT faculty and researchers with principal investigator status can apply. We, are we welcome applications from diverse candidates, including those historically underrepresented in the engineering, computing, and mathematics. With the mission to be the world's most loved entertainment service, Prime Video continually strives to delight its customers by offering the most engaging video watching experiences. Prime Video works to solve a broad range of cutting-edge technical problems and is seeking partnership with Antonio faculty Bunderas. to advance research in video technology. Has Antonio Bunderas? Uh, I was uh, watching Puss in the Boots last night, The Last Wish. That's a good one. We welcome proposals related to the following broad research areas in order to accelerate progress in state-of-the-art video watching. Submissions must fit within one of our five distinct research areas. One, video understanding and augmentation. Video picture quality. The guy is playing with that dog in the park. I have to hear Henry talking. Compression and delivery. Three. Search and recommendation. Four video sports oh, analytics. Okay. Five forecasting automation. That's good. Video understanding and again okay. video and video picture quality. No search and recommendation. That is amazing. They were investing on it. Submission must be one of the five research areas. V1 recommendation. Future is in recommendation system. We do a sports analytics. Isn't it interesting that Amazon is investing like three, three of five areas are about video quality, video understanding on augmentation, video sports analytics. Dude, I can talk about uh, UFC. I can apply. It's just for a. Uh, it is. It is for a uh, Henry. It is. For, oh, fuck. <gasps> Why did I do that? Uh, it is for PIs and professors. It's not for armchair theorists. PhD. Damn, search and recommendation is super important. Let's go, baby. Recommendation. Well, we can join them later. Well, we can join them later. Well, we can join them later. Recommendation. Recommendation. Men okay, next line, motherfucker. Go Recommendation or video sports analytics. Five, forecasting, automation, and metrics. Proposal requirements. Proposals should be prepared according to the standard proposal template and should clearly indicate one of the above research areas. Please refer to the proposal template. Award details. Selected principal investigators, PIs, may receive up to $150,000 in sponsored project funding, inclusive of university overhead, for one year. Projects. 
The budget should detail all costs, including indirect costs. The number of awards will be determined by project fit. Awards will be judged on their ability to advance our research interests, impact international AV technology, and meet clear deliverables. Projects should aim for joint publication with Amazon scientists. Please list any open source tools or data you would intend to use. Project timelines are flexible, and proposals should not start sooner than February. 1. 2024. Call for gift award project applications robotics. Current funding key dates. Submission deadline. February 29, 2024 by 500 PM ET. Notification of awards between May and June 2024. Start of project. August, September 2024. Eligibility. All MIT faculty and researchers with principal investigator status can apply. We welcome applications from diverse candidates, including those historically underrepresented in the engineering, computing, and mathematics. The Science Hub seeks proposals to advance the state of the art and enable new robotics and AI solutions in the following topic areas. One, robotic manipulation. For example, picking and packing objects from two cluttered, confined spaces, robust grasping for- They have so many projects on YouTube, uh, on videos because they have Amazon Prime. Oh, it was actually reading Prime video, all right. Don't worry. Okay, robotics. The next subject is robotics. Uh, artificial general intelligence. Okay, it's more material science. Artificial gen general intelligence. Mm, okay, okay, the whole page is five minutes. For a wide variety of many object types, including fragile, deformable, and deconstructible, e.g., lidded shoeboxes, modeling, and prediction for fast compliant control. Two, computer vision. For example, Robust 3 scene understanding with low-cost sensors, tracking and predicting the three poses of dynamic actors, object damage detection from images. 3. Machine learning, for example, continual learning, sample efficient model, retraining, applications of ML to robotic planning and control. 4. Modeling, simulation, and verification, for example, modeling and simulation of deformable objects in contact, closing sim to real gaps in synthetic imagery, design of experiments and verification of autonomous systems. Five, autonomous mobility. For example, safe and fluent navigation in complex dynamic environments, multi-agent planning and coordination, tens, one hundreds of robots, localization and mapping. Six, multi-robot systems. For example, Task allocation for fleets of 1,000 plus robots, multi-agent planning, and... Shiloh Shepherd dog. It looks like a dog that... It looks like a German Shepherd that doesn't take care of his grooming. That's it. I believe. German Shepherd versus... In this video, we'll share the difference between the German Shepherd and the Shiloh Shepherd. Shiloh. First, let's take a look at the exercise comparison. For Shiloh Shepherds, on average, they have considerably have... less energy and drive than the typical German Shepherd. Yeah, still... <laughs> they are the lazy German high energy dogs, but not as much as the German Shepherd, as they are easily wore down with a quick walk or a game of fetch. As for the German Shepherds, they are eager working dogs that want a job and want to be busy. They can handle quite a bit. So for this category, the German Shepherd requires definitely more exercise. All right, let's go. Why don't we watch this stuff together? Can we What's that? sorry I didn't include you through this journey. Didn't include you left no room for your little brother to do. You are 
browsing as it is YouTube. I wanna browse as it is. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, what was that? Shiloh Shepherd. That is that is one very bad effect of YouTube. You see the first page, you forget why you went to. Actually, it is so dumb that they don't make a YouTube that you go and just you search like a Google, right? You go on Google. Oh. Dot com. That's it. So simple. There is no distraction. For YouTube, they put you look. Brad Pitt and Angelina Julie. I think they met each other in Cuba, right? In the movie, they were doing something. So this is the dog, which is. German Shepherd. I don't get it. Shepherds. Top ten facts. I've got something critical to share. Last year, more than five hundred Americans Your faced a is amazing. fatal danger in sinking cars. Similar in appearance to the German Shepherd, the Shiloh Shepherd is a reliable breed known for their intelligence, trainability, and affection. But chances are, you've never heard of the breed. After all, the Shiloh Shepherd hasn't been recognized. Dude, but Champ right? Shepherd is a... He knew that. We didn't. I haven't heard. Sorry, guys. Just have to write. Reliable breed, known for their intelligence, trainability, and affection. But chances are, you've never heard of the breed. After all, the Shiloh Shepherd hasn't been recognized by any major kennel clubs yet. Loyal, courageous, and confident, but not hostile, the Shiloh Shepherd makes a wonderful companion. If you want to learn more about this gigantic and cuddly dog, then you've come to the right place. In this video today, we're going to take a look at the top 10 interesting facts about the Shiloh Shepherd. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Shiloh owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The Shiloh Shepherd is a relatively new crossbreed still under development. Their history can be traced back to the mid to late 1970s in New York when a breeder named Tina Barber first began to breed these dogs. 
Tina noticed that some German Shepherds were hard for families to handle, mainly for issues related to hip dysplasia and temperamental behaviors. So she set out to create a new breed, similar in appearance to the German Shepherd, but larger, gentler, and healthier. The resulting dog was the Shiloh Shepherd. The breed was developed with 14 of Tina's breeding stock German Shepherds and six unrelated dogs that consisted of three more German Shepherds, an Altdeutscher Safer Hund, a Czechoslovakian Volchek, and a triple mix of American Shoreline German Shepherd, White Shepherd, and Malamute. These 20 dogs were the foundation breeds for the Shiloh Shepherd. In the early 1990s, Tina Barber separated her breeding stock from the AKC and started to maintain registry records of the Shiloh Shepherds by herself. Shiloh Shepherds were recognized by the American Herding Breed Association in the year 2004. Today, there are multiple Shiloh clubs and registries. The breed is currently being managed by breed-specific registries including the International Shiloh Shepherd Alliance, the International Shiloh Shepherd Dog Club, and the International Shiloh Shepherd Registry. However, the breed is yet to be recognized by major kennel clubs such as the American Kennel Club and the Federation Cynologic International. Number 2. Their Appearance At a glance, the Shiloh Shepherd is quite similar to the German Shepherd in terms of appearance. However, there are a few factors that distinguish the breed from their German Shepherd cousin. After looking at a Shiloh Shepherd, the first thing you'd notice about these dogs would be their huge size. Males grow to heights of 28 to 32 inches and weigh anywhere between 100 and 140 pounds, whereas females can grow to heights of 26 to 30 inches and weigh anywhere between 80 and 100 pounds. Other than their size, their overall appearance is still rather heavy. Their back is broad, strong, and solid. The head is broad and noble, slightly domed, and in proportion to the body. Their width and length of the skull are approximately equal with a gently defined stop, strongly developed cheekbones, and a gradually tapering muscle. Both the fore and hind legs are well muscled. The tail is long and thickly covered with dense hair. They look, if I see them, I cannot say, oh, you're a shepherd. I don't get it. Hang down like a plume. As for the coat, it comes in two different varieties, smooth and plush. The smooth coat features a shorter undercoat and a top coat with coarse, dense fur whereas the plush coat will have a longer, softer undercoat, thicker fur around the neck, and feathering on the legs and ears. The coat comes in solid colors including black, white, tan, golden, camera company and cancel the subscription. Cancel the subscription. This brand new subscription in the silver, red, brown, and dark gray. However, they can also be bicolored or sable. Silver colored dogs are extremely rare and to qualify as silver, the dog needs to have a pure white undercoat. Most of what I just wanted to search if we have a Xi'an low and then just Shiloh. What is that dog breed? If it's not a shampoo. Do, 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 do. very common to call them in Persian because I searched Xianlo and like Persian uh, Wikipedia is one of the first one and that's why or is it just because I am Persian it brought let's show that bridge The dog I was talking about, which is playing in the park, it's a bull mastiff, or yeah, it's a bull mastiff, I guess. It's 
Hmm. No, this is not a good medicine. Dude, Belgian Malano. Uh, these are the best ones. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, they have their sounds, diet. Nope, 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 nope. I don't agree. This is not a bold mastiff. Bold mastiff has like a bigger jaw. This is a smaller dog. All dog breeds. Bulldog. Maybe it's a bulldog. No, one is tall. This dog is tall. What is Sarabi dog? Oh, it's Iran. <laughs> Dude, I see a homie, I recognize it right away. Sarabic dog or Iranian Massive or Persian Massive is a large breed of livestock guardian dog. Iran from the Sarab country. Country. Oh, it's from uh, Azerbaijan of Iran. Sarabic dogs have been used for centuries. It, it looks like the Malamud dog. Malamud? No, Alibi. The, my friend had. Um, okay, good to have a Iranian dog too. I don't know. Let's see Sarabi dog. Wow, look at this. What is this? Do 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 YouTube. Price, how much are they? People call a silver is actually what we call a gray sable or gray dual dog. Number three, German Shepherd versus Shiloh Shepherd. As we mentioned before, the German Shepherd and Shiloh Shepherd are quite similar in appearance, but there are a few things that set these two breeds apart in terms of appearance. Shiloh Shepherds are much larger compared to their German Shepherd cousins. As we said before, male Shiloh Shepherds can grow to heights of 28 to 32 inches and weigh anywhere between 100 and 140 pounds, whereas female Shiloh Shepherds can grow to heights of 26 to 30 inches and weigh anywhere between 80 and 100 pounds. In comparison, German Shepherds have an average height of 22 to 26 inches. They typically weigh 75 to 95 pounds. Another subtle difference in the appearance between these two breeds is their back. Shiloh Shepherds have a level top line as compared... So maybe most of the sh German Shepherds I thought are Shiloh Shepherd. Also, what is it that I want to say? Um, Shiloh Shepherd. Oof. Oh, okay. We have we have Eastern German German Shepherd and Western German German. I think Eastern Germans are bigger. Uh, I know. Compared to German Shepherds. After all, Shiloh Shepherds were bred to reduce issues pertaining to hip dysplasia. Shilohs are also more laid back and docile compared to German Shepherds. However, oh. this is not quite compared to 2 to 26 inches. They have a rounded back. So the uh, lady Tina Barber decided to fix that and. So made it a uh, level, huh? They typically weigh 75 to 95 pounds. Another subtle difference in the appearance between these two breeds is their back. Shiloh Shepherds have a level top line as compared to German Shepherds. After all, Shiloh Shepherds were bred to reduce issues pertaining to hip dysplasia. Shilohs are also more laid back and docile compared to German Shepherds. However, this is not to say that these dogs have a lower protective instinct. 
The breed can get along well with children and other pets and may inhibit strong protective instincts similar to the German Shepherd. While they appear more laid back, they'll still always be on the lookout for any potential threats, making them great watchdogs as well as guard dogs. And finally, the Shiloh Shepherds have longer coats, requiring more grooming as compared to German Shepherds. Number 4. Their Temperament Shiloh Shepherds were bred to be companion dogs, therefore they have a calm and steady temperament. These dogs are friendly with most people and animals they meet. And with proper training and socialization, Shilohs grow up to be affectionate canines who love to be a part of all family activities. These dogs form close and strong bonds with their families and are naturally sensitive, which means they can easily pick up on their owner's mood. It is for this reason that these dogs are ideally used in therapy work too. The breed is tranquil and passive indoors, but definitely very affectionate. If you're looking for a big dog that will happily snuggle up with you, then the Shiloh Shepherd could be the right choice for you. As with any breed, Shiloh puppies really like to bite anything and everyone, so supervision is needed. Separate breed. This is the no, they add some chromosome to. When raising a puppy around children. With proper and sufficient socialization, they can also get along exceptionally well with other pets in the household. And similar to German Shepherds, these guys also have a strong protective instinct, but they're not hostile or aggressive at all. They're super intelligent and they love the companionship of their family, which is why leaving them alone for long periods of time is probably a bad idea. Number 5. They are purebred dogs. A lot of people misunderstand that Shilohs are purebred dogs, so they think that crossing a German Shepherd and an Alaskan Malamute would result in a Shiloh, but that's completely untrue. Since Shilohs have a genetically unique signature and have the DNA on the Phyloth and Bark, Wisdom Panel and UC David. Yes, they are considered purebred at this point in development, not a crossbreed. However, there has been an outcross in the breed's development and it was a dog that had approximately 90% German Shepherd and 10% Sarplaninich. So the Sarplaninich is also a part of the Shiloh Shepherd's genetic makeup. Although Tina began her breeding program in the 1970s, the outcrosses to add new genetics didn't begin until the 1990s, which is when Shilohs were really born. Coolest color for German, these two. Like they have mixes of two colors, right? I like that. And like they have a fade. Fuck, I should not put my leg here. Ah, fuck. Born. American Rare Breed Association accepted Shiloh Shepherds in 1991. Number 6. Their Exercise Needs Despite their laid-back approach to life, the Shiloh Shepherd is a medium to high-energy dog that needs at least an hour of exercise a day. These dogs love strenuous activity, preferably combined with training of some kind, since they are very intelligent and crave a good challenge. They require a daily brisk long walk and they're also up for other activities such as jogging, running, swimming and even pulling sleds or carts. These guys need pl for a first this is how I know they're training because they this video German will shepherd. share the difference between the German Shepherd and the yeah, Shiloh Shepherd first let's take a look at the exercise comparison for Shiloh Shepherds on average they have considerably less energy and drive than the typical German Shepherd they're still relatively high energy dogs but has been bred to be less aggressive of these two dogs for the Shiloh Shepherd, they either oh, come in smooth coat. Cool. Their coat is longer. Next, let's compare the appearance and coat of these two dogs. For the Shiloh Shepherd, they either come in smooth or plush coat types. In either coat type, the hair should be shorter on the sides of the body, face, and forelegs, and feet, but longer on the shoulders, neck, and down the back, and on the underside of the tail. They have a distinct look about their face with rings around their eyes. As for the German Shepherd, they come in various coat types, but the most common and the AKC recognized is a medium length double coat. These fucking websites put two photos of them to next to each other, tell which one is German Shepherd, tell which one is the Shiloh. I cannot. The coat tends to be very dense and the outer coat lies flat for a sleek appearance. Dog. It's common for the hair on the hind legs and the back of the forelegs to be a little bit longer and for the neck to have a longer and th this is... thicker hair as well. Okay, which one is Shiloh, which one is Jeremy? Who, who is the dumb person behind this video? Next, we'll compare the size of these two dogs. The Shiloh Shepherd were a female 20... 
as for the German a bit bigger, finally we'll look at the breed distinction. For the Shiloh Shepherd, this dog was developed in the 70s. And while quite consistent to the standard, the new breed has not yet met the rigorous requirements of the AKC to achieve a breed recognition. Shiloh Shepherds are developed using German Shepherds and other breeds like the Malamute. So it may have many years before these dogs are considered enough to be an... What the fuck are we talking about? Um, motherfucker took our time gave no information. This dog and this dog, they're different dogs, but are 34-300k. Persian Mastiff, oh. Okay, let's go with 300k. Hi everyone, Mark Barden here at Sandy Hook Promise. On December 14, 2012, my seven-year-old son Daniel was shot to death in his first grade classroom at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today we're meeting the Sarab. Welcome to Animal Watch and today... Wow, what is this? Canis Panther. Today we have a world... They are a culmination of the Black Labrador, the Black Great Dane, the Doberman Pinscher, and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Being protective for the to the dog and doing something. And have you got them? Do we have now. What are your dog? But he gets a dog from me, and the dog is not well cared for the way we plan. Uh -huh. And then when I'm looking at the dogs within the time that they're with me, I'm. Is the guy Persian? This dog with this guy on the street, they can get into every fight and live with no scar. Testing them for all sorts of things and I will match the dogs with the owners and the needs. If somebody gets a dog from me and the dog is not this well dog cared is so for cute. the way we planned, my contracts are so tight that if, if my dog is not being um, exercise properly, if the dog is out of shape, if the dog is in any way not well cared for, like we agreed upon before. Oh, I can also there. do the extreme protection work that a Canis Panther can a breed being singled wow. out as the cover Shit, model for the Canis Panther. Like Perhaps it's due to the fact do the extreme work to epic proportions in protection work, bred to do the job. Received an email from a viewer named Google the dog leak. They were short coat. They were, in fact, the legendary Canis Panther I had been told about. And why wouldn't I? As the websites had a shock and a revelation. Uh, I finally tracked down the. Wow. The dogs in the photos back to a man called Kian, owner of the best of both worlds Instagram account, to the viral canis based on its dog breeds. All like solid. That were healthy enough to work before show breeders ruined their health after breeding for immensity and looks alone. Working uh, based on. Obviously, like this dog was bred for, for look. It doesn't look natural, though. Tall, but a breed he had created himself from scratch based on his desire to repeat around and work down next to a fantasy dog. The dogs were some of the most beautiful and athletic I'd ever seen. Looking look like. Look at the muscles. Look at the muscles here. Wow. This, this guy does high pull all the time. Sleek hellhounds just like the fantasy dogs from Resident Evil. Look at this, his nails. Wow. They were short-coated and muscular. What an icon. Short-coated short is also what a quality, right? Uh, and German Shepherd sucks for that. You want, this is it. That's the Looked like dog. black panthers. 
So I presumed they were in fact the legendary Canis Panther I had been told about. And why wouldn't I, as the websites had them all labelled as this breed? What transpired next was both a shock and a revelation. I finally tracked down the dogs in the photos back to a man called Kian, owner of the Best of Both Worlds Instagram account and protection dog training kennels. He revealed to me that the cover dogs to the viral Canis Panther videos and articles going around were in fact not Canis Panthers at all, but a breed he had created himself from scratch based on his desire to recreate a modern equivalent to the healthier, older working breeds. Dog I don't like this. I don't like this part, you know. Uh, actually, what Tina did that made the top like more flat, right? Level. This doesn't make sense. This is a male dog, and I'm not an ass guy, but... Come on, you should... Like when I was a kid and I used to draw dogs, right? I used to draw in a square. But this is more like a triangle. Breeds that were healthy enough. Maybe their head is bigger than their size. This doesn't make sense, guys. Ooh, Canis Panther, what a dog. This is like probably the most beautiful. Doberman, Doberman. ...off to work before show breeders ruin their health after... At Lemonade, we're changing insurance, starting with clearly explaining how it works. Our rent... ...the breeding for immensity and looks alone. Now let's look at some of the old photos of working dog breeds a hundred or so years back. Look, look, look. The dogs look... These... Look at their back. They're... They're more natural. Wow, look at this lady. Uh, look at the back. Look, it is so flat. Why is it like that? Fit and healthy and nothing like the over-the-top unhealthy Ooh, specimens we see. These two. They can rule a com country. Today, most of these modern-day working breeds could not do the job they were originally created to do. And this is why Kian has stepped wow. in. Okay, he, see? Kian. He was Persian. Firstly though, so why it do? And this is why Kian has stepped in. Firstly though, so why isn't Kian's dogs Canis Panther if everyone thinks they look similar to them? Well, if you go online and look up the Canis Panther, the breeding state... Look, this is good. This is good, actually. They are a culmination of the Black Labrador, the Black Great Dane, the Doberman Pinsir, and okay, the Staffordshire Bull Tab. What are we doing? We are wasting time. Uh, okay, I will watch these two later. Do 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 do. You go and watch it together too. Do, do, do. Okay, just because it was about listing and you put it on the top, look, 596, how many views, motherfucker, 744. So it's not just sort of based on the, oh, because it has alibi and Caucasian Shepherd because it is more related to Sarabi. And then we have the, wow, this guy, what is this? Oh, against coyotes so yeah and you go lower and it doesn't matter <laughs> it is not sorted based on the view um, all right let's wait to get back to game no enough for today I say stop recording